Right now, there are two stressors for customers that are thinking about getting into the float business. Number one, what tank is the right size for me? We build tanks that go into these float rooms. When you look at the float room part of our website, you will see that there's a nine foot nine inch tank by six foot seven inch tank. This is a really neat tank because you can float tandem in it. And it is really nice to have that big of a space to be able to float in. We do it for basketball players and giant football players too. So that's what the big tank is. Then there's a tank that's not on the website yet that is eight feet nine inches long, 68 inches wide which is five feet eight inches so at eight foot nine by five feet eight inches that tank is exactly the same size as our pod so you might be able to experiment with the same size room for both your pods and for your float rooms so that's a possibility and then the next thing that you have an opportunity to do is to buy a five foot by eight foot tank people that have a tough time going downstairs and turning corners sometimes buy the five foot eight foot tank now the five foot by eight foot tank is a problem when you get a person that's taller than six foot three inches tall because in the five foot by eight foot tank that particular one has a step in it for persons to set on and dry off so they're not getting salt all over the room that the tank is in and so with a six foot three inch float area that's not quite as good for a commercial application the next thing that people are always stressing out about is what size pump is going on the tank the biggest mistakes that are being made in the float industry right now is using the wrong pumping system. The wrong pumping system creates all kinds of brine in the air so that you've got salt in your air conditioning system, so you've got salt that's destroying your computer on your counter, and you've got people coming to your door and opening the door of your facility and saying, no, I'm not gonna go in there because that smells and feels like unhealthy air so I'm not wanting to go in there and that's from using the wrong size pump the pump that we use at Royal Spa can be any pump we do everything but what happens when you use the wrong pump is that the tank will overheat the tank will blow salt into the air the tank will be frothy it'll have a head of suds on it that is as much as a foot thick and these are the things that they don't tell you they just will imply that you're doing something wrong in your facility but the magnetically impelled pumps that are used are too big in most applications so when you use the pump that we use we're saying 24 gallons a minute is ample at 24 gallons a minute you are turning the tank over four times between customers and you are creating an opportunity for your tank to not raise in temperature just because of the energy that's being put into the water by the pump. People don't understand what heat creep is and that is the energy that the pump creates through pushing it through your pipes that creates a friction on the inside of that tubing and overheats the water. When you put the wrong pump onto the wrong tank, you will know that you did that because tomorrow morning the tank will be 109 degrees and it takes you three hours to cool it back to a usable temperature. Now you know you've used the wrong pump. Congratulations. So now the only thing you can do from there is to shorten the amount of time that the pump runs. When you shorten the amount of time that the pump runs, then your solution will feel like it's sandy and gritty and will feel weird on your thighs when you get out of the tank. When you have a solution that is turned continuously, when it's not used, the silkiness and the smoothness of the solution will be like tomato soup and will be unbelievably comfortable for a person to be wearing when they get out. Now we still want them to shower when they leave the tank, of course, because you know that it will make your skin shrink up really radically. But using the right pump is the best thing that you can do and the worst mistake you can make. So the wrong pump is really bad and the correct pump is really simple. So don't let people talk you out of doing the right thing when you know what the right thing is.